All right, buenos dias, mis amigos. All right, Wild Adventure 10 has a great comment question here. He says, Hard Truce has made a couple of videos on this. I've made statements that go against him and has blocked me because he wants me to agree with him. So, no matter what you do, if you're saved, you cannot die. Question. And the answer is yes. No matter what you do, if you're saved, you cannot die. Period. Alright. Once you are born of God, you can, let's do it this way, you will never die. You shall never die. You shall never, ever die. John 11, verse 26, whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die die all right so you will never die but have you will have everlasting life and it's interesting to me just the word everlasting life means life that will last forever all right you think of john 3 verse 16 for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever Believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Right, so um, this this um, you know phrase shall never die. This means that if you go back to here, if we go back, and it's interesting to me, you go back to John. 11 verse 26 whosoever liveth and believeth me shall never die believest thou this if you go to verse 25 jesus said on her i am the resurrection and the life he that believeth in me though he were dead yet shall he live so even though the body's going to die you're going to live forever all right and so uh, when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven, at the end of the world, we will be lifted up in the air. We that are saved will be lifted up in the air. We will be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. We will put on incorruption. We will put on immortality at that moment. All right. So also, when that happens, the unsaved are gathered at our feet. And fire comes down from God out of heaven and devours them all. This is what it means back in Genesis 3. When the Lord said to the serpent, I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. So Jesus is going to stomp his foot on the head of the serpent. That's the same thing as crushing all the unsaved. And then all them and death will be thrown in the lake of fire alright so that'll put an end to all evil forever okay that's the second death alright and so um, you see this mentioned uh, what, four times it looks like four times in book of Revelation four times the second death is mentioned right alright now think about uh, what Jesus says fear not them that can kill the body oops I think I did that wrong but no, maybe not Fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. So that's God. God can destroy both your body and your soul in hell. And of course, hell is thrown into the lake of fire, and that's the second death. Right? So, though you were to die yet shall you live there's again 
a difference between the flesh and the spirit. So the spirit goes on forever. The flesh, this flesh that we live in, so also did God come into. And he has led the way for us. He has laid down his life as the sacrifice for all sin. That whosoever believeth in him shall never die. Because he died, rose from the grave, and so also shall we die and raise from the grave. And then Jesus ascended to heaven. And so also we that are born of God shall ascend to heaven to meet the Lord in the air when he returns. And when that happens, that's when we are changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. All right, so we shall never die. Even though we're in this flesh, we're going to go from this mortal flesh and we're going to be changed into an, an M, uh, excuse me, an immortal flesh. Right? So just like what we read in 1 Corinthians 15, for this corruptible must put on in corruption and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall put on incorruption and this mortal shall put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the thing that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. So there is no more death after this. All right, so this death that we will experience in this flesh is just a temporary death. It's not the end at all. Okay, so the end is when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven. So anyway, um, I hope that answers it. Um, no matter what you do. So you're not saved by anything that you do. And therefore, it's not possible to do something and lose your salvation. That's not a possibility. It's not a logical possibility, and it's, that idea is not supported by Scripture anywhere at all. all. right. So, if the Son of Man, which is Jesus, if the Son shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. So, there's no greater peace knowing that you are sealed, secure, sanctified, saved forever. You have absolute, total, 100% freedom. Nothing will ever change that. That's as great a comfort as you can possibly have, knowing that you will never die. And though you were to die, yet shall you live. You have ever lasting life and this life in this world is just temporary it's just a flash in a pan and when you look at it big picture wise it's just a flash it really is so no there's nothing that you can do to die the second death you're born of God you have God living inside of you not just upon you but in you therefore we can be confident knowing that he who has begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ the day of Jesus Christ is when he comes in the clouds of heaven so we can be free 100% free we can be 100% confident knowing that no matter what we will never die we will never die the second death we will never lose our salvation it's not possible we are free okay good day